breweries are buzzing in the state of South Carolina. But due to strict alcohol distribution laws, we're definitely still half prohibition era here. Conflicts are brewing as well. We can't make the most money off the product because we have to sell it to the distributor who sells it to the bar, who then sells it to you. So therefore, for us to be an affordable beer at the bar, then obviously we have to sell it cheaper to the distributor. It's called the three-tier system, and it requires every brewery in South Carolina to go through a beverage distributor to get their products out. Slight changes in the laws can make everybody better. That's Doug Boyd. Seven years ago, he opened Swamp Cabbage Brewery with a dream to make good beer for people in the community. Now for Doug and his family, they have to compete with businesses like White Claw, who build $400 million facilities right around the corner. They have 300 employees in this warehouse behind me, while Doug's business, it's completely family run. In the eyes of the South Carolina government, they're looked at exactly the same. Some South Carolina lawyers think that this is going to be a problem in the future, though. If you're going to be a, a smaller producer who doesn't make a lot, it might not be worth it to you to even pursue just because you're, you're probably not going to make, um, make a lot. Brooke Bristow works closely with many South Carolina breweries and says the three-tier system also makes for a barrier between producer and consumer. A lot of the times they get the complaints about it. Like, why is your beer, you know, 10 bucks a pint over at, you know, at, uh, at the bar here? And that's not, that's not something they can control. A growing list of local bar managers also think the current three-tier system is limiting small producers like Swamp Cabbage. And that's really not fair to them because all they're really getting out of it is just advertisement to, hey, come visit our brewery at the same time. Jeff Wills has managed bars in multiple states and thinks South Carolina's laws are preventing growth within the state. One thing that kind of pops out to me right away is that we do have, like, a steel hands. They're getting ready to open up their second brewery, but they're not going to open it in South Carolina. They're actually going to open it up in North Carolina. South Carolina has over 100 beer and wine producers, but right up the road in North Carolina, they're over three times the amount. So is the current 3-2 system all bad? Well, not really. But the middleman is there for, there's some good reasons to it too, because I don't really have the time to drive my beer all the way around the state or around the city. For Doug and many other brewery owners in South Carolina, they hope the three-tier system will allow for more freedoms in the future. If a bar calls that they're out of the beer, I'd like to be able to just take it to the bar, at least be able to, to do that. Whether or not a brewery profits in the current system depends on a lot of factors, but most parties can agree it just isn't set up for small business to succeed. For Carolina News, I'm Robbie Greenwald.